and gentlemen, we have three rounds. This in the Eagle FC light heavyweight division. The judges for this bout will be Hector Gomez, Eliseo Rodriguez, and Vicente Rodriguez. Introducing first, fighting to my left out of the blue corner. He stands in at six feet even, weighing officially at 205 pounds. Hits record 14 wins against six defeats, fighting out of Tampa, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Reggie, the Regulator Pena. And across the Eagle FC steal, his adversary fighting out of the red corner. He stands in at six feet, one inch tall, weighing officially at 205.6 pounds. He is a 28 fight veteran that enters this contest with a record of 19 wins against nine losses fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ronnie Marcus. And your referee in charge is Marcos Perez. Wait, wait, go back, please. Third go back. man in the steel here, Marcos Perez. What a matchup. Light heavyweights throwing down. We'll see more light heavyweights a little bit later tonight, of course, in our massive co main event with Silva and Lombard. But right now, it is Pena. It's Marcus. Get ready. Get ready. Fight. And let's get down to business. They're in the blue and the purple. Reggie Pena, and he lands right out of the gate. And Marcus down to the ground. Marcus in the black. The southpaw, Reggie Pena. It's crazy when you start hearing the thumps with the light heavyweights. It's like boom, boom, like you, like you feel it, man. It's uh, the hits, the even just the the, the footwork inside the uh, inside the cage. It's a trip. Ronnie's aware he's in a fight now, though. There's some urgency coming. He's coming on strong. If he gets to the body lock, he's very powerful in that position. Laying in right hands, Ronnie Marcus. A big, powerful fighter here. Oof. And great transitions. Great movement by Marcus. And he's once again looking to put Pena on his back. I'm very impressed by that effort from Pena right there. I mean, there was a lot of energy used. Now he's to the feet. He's got his side wizard. If he can keep this little bit of distance, you see Pena trying to bring his right knee in there. That's just to create a little bit of space. Makes it harder for somebody to have effective wrestling takedowns the more space you can build. Boy, look at that. The scramble on the mats, Henry. Pena on top and half guard. Impressive show in here by Reggie Pena. The hardest thing that she can do in a fight, the only reason why people don't do it is because it's, a tough, it's the toughest thing to do and it gets you tired, is called wrestling. These guys, since that minute and a half, that's all these guys did. Right now, they are both huffing and puffing. And I'm curious to see them go on their feet because then that's when you determine, okay, where is it that, uh, who is it that huffing and puffing a little bit more? And you have, you as, you as a competitor have to be able to analyze and see, to, to be able to see that. Ronnie looking to reverse him here, looking off balance, see if he can get a switch. Pena sensing the body weight. A great movement by Reggie Pena. You would think that Mark's going to have that advantage, but Pena neutralizing right now. Are you surprised at all? Yeah, oh, I'm very surprised. I, I like this here. Look, there's a little bit of a leg extension. This submission works in the practice room. It doesn't work in actual competition quite as often, but Ronnie Marks uses it to trade positions to get back on top. Look, the reason that Ronnie wrestled so hard in that first 90 seconds Henry was talking about, he wanted to be on top. Now, he did it a different way, but he's finally where he wanted to be. Let's see what he can do. Marcus on top, trying to get a little offense going here with just about two minutes left here of round number one. We knew this one was going to be a good one, and they have a lot to follow as the uh, the smaller fighters have put on a show tonight here in our prelims here at Eagle FC 47. We know what's to come. We know about the massive co-main, and then, of course, the heavyweight main event with Junior Dos Santos, but that is later, and this is now, and Ronnie Marcus is in a great position. Now going to isolate the arm of Pena. Let's see if he has something here. I like the way Pena moves, man. When he gets an idea in his head, Pena goes right now. He puts all that effort into it. Ronnie drags it back down. Now it's Pena's turn to work again. Yeah, it's attempted. you see he attempted that inside trip? It was uh, it was nice to see because they're they're always there. And I felt like, like their pace, I felt like they started a little too quick. 
Typically when you're doing things Typically when you're doing things right, typically things feel like in slow motion. There's a discipline in the way you go out there and fight. But these guys, since since the beginning of the round till now, they've just been scrambling. We, we haven't seen anything on the feet, but it's it's been a back and forth battle on the, on, on the ground. And if Ronnie can push that left knee, now he's going for it. Just slide his knee over, he can transition to mount, and there he does. Minute to go here, and I, I think it has to be noted that uh, Jamal Mashburn is in the building, the former NBA All Star, former Miami Heat player. Monster Mash is in the house. Like I said, you never know who's going to show up at these VIP events. Tiago Alves in the house, Gilbert Burns. It is a who's who inside of the Flex Cast Arena. And look at this Ronnie Marcus trying to end this thing. He does not want to go into round number two, but Pena. Continues to battle. Great defense by Pena. 30 seconds left in the round. Back and forth action, but Marcus on top, and that's probably going to help him a lot with the eyes of the, of the judge. And you saw the experience there by Ronnie Marks, right? Nothing has changed in this position. Why did Ronnie not continue ground and pound? Well, it's an energy issue. He needed to manage it. He went for a couple of openings, earned some respect with the judges, and then backed off. It was his own choice. This position has not changed, but Ronnie's efforts have. Great talk control. Watch out with the head. Watch out with the head. Stop! Stop! He knows how big this is. What a big moment for Reggie Pena if he could pull this one off over a talent like Ronnie Marcus. Round number two begins. There we go, Ronnie Marcus, man, just looks a little bit quicker to the punch. Complete different round right there, right? I mean, beautiful takedown by Ronnie, but these guys start out fisticuffs. That is not what we saw in the first. Ronnie needs to take advantage of having his opponent against the fence here. That fence can be a tag team partner if you know how to use it right. No surprise, the fans have Ronnie Marcus winning round number one. I think we do as well. Ronnie Marcus coming around the back. Ronnie's got heavy hips, but they're a little bit low. I'd like to see his hips just about three or four inches higher. I think that would help to keep Pena down. Pena coming up. Marks goes over the top. Just when you think that Pena's in survival mode, he's able to turn the tide and start landing those hard left hands of South Park, raining them down here on Ronnie Marcus. Oh, Pena really as, came to fight. He's as game as they come, man. Pena walked out to the ring with a smile on his face. Not very many guys do that. This gets to be pretty serious business. Every now and then you run to a guy like Pena who enjoys a cage Ooh. fight. Beautiful step over there. Ronnie pushes that left knee down. He can step over right to a mount. Yep, and he had success there. Yep, so just, he had just push that success. leg. He's there, Henry. If he just brings that knee over. He's tapping. He's tapping. Stop. Fight is over. And there it is. I think he hurt his shoulder. Did and it looks something? like. What was it? A little anticlimactic and it happened really quick, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 1 minute 21 seconds of the second round. Reggie Pena verbally taps out. Therefore, your winner by submission victory, Ronnie Marcus. <laughs> Ronnie Marcus, congratulations. You know. Congratulations, beautiful performance. Was that your game plan all along? Was it the takedowns? I saw the, I saw the knee tap that you ended up hitting. Obviously, it was a it was a back and forth scramble. But what was it about this fight? And uh, how would you grade yourself? The first of all, I'm gonna say all oh, on to God, because He everything in my life. He gives me everything in my life. And yeah, the game plan is put pressure, lose my wrist and jujitsu. The first time I go to his, I go to his leg lock. I hit it. His knee, something's wrong, and he screamed, but I think the referee don't, don't listen, but it is what it is. The round finish, I come back and follow the, the game plan again, and everything will be fine. That's awesome, man. Well, first of all, congratulations, and uh, we're here at Eagle FC, man. We got Khabib in the house. We got Ali Abdelaziz. We got all these legends, man. Who is it that you want next? I... This is putting in a Huizva hands for he see who's next for me. Ali Chu is my manager. I'm so glad to fight the show. I have my uh, form part train there, Chao Sony. This guy helped me a lot in the time I moved to US. He helped my family. Always, I'm going to be grateful for him. I can't say something in Portuguese. A galera aí da Vila de Ponta Negra, na comunidade que eu cresci. Essa vitória foi para vocês. Guga Galvão, irmão, muito obrigado. O tudo que você fez por mim aí, cuidar da minha dieta e tá indo tudo bem agora. É só caminhar aí pro, pro pra voo maiores no futuro. 
Thank you, everyone, for coming to the show tonight. God bless everyone. You're one, everybody. Ronnie Marquez. Well, you got to feel good about that, Joe, man. He, he made it, uh, an effort to come right out to you directly after the fight. Amazing. Reggie Pena, man, I, I, we had, I just spoke to Ronnie Marquez. Obviously, he heard a stream, man. Can you kind of give us an update? What is it that happened? Man, I feel like he had like a figure four on my knee, and he was prying, and I tried to fight out. And then uh, I, I got to my feet, someone, and he slid me down. My knee bounced off the mat, and I had ACL surgery on his knee, like, way back. But it just, uh, I just felt something, like, go, and I was like, oh. So I just feel bad, terrible. You know, I have a lot of fans back home, and I just feel like I let everybody down. But, you know, hope I hope I, I did enough to show that I, I belong and I can come back and uh, give you guys performances that I've been known for. And that you did. You guys give it up for Reggie Benya.